That's yeah. a big chunk of clay. How many pounds? Uh, a big donut. I guess it's going to be a big donut. Mm, yeah. Like right uh, all right, so we're going to get a center, a star, cone, and a dome. Again, we complain about our wedger shitty job get the bottom of your cone early in the process yeah I, I uh, I'm mitigating for some bad wedging right now um, in fact I don't know if we can see it um, like can you see the little uh, like ripples and stuff in that clay there yeah right yeah. so those little ripples and stuff that's you know like there's harder and softer clay next to each other right and that's just insufficient wedging right um, so I need to get this as consistent as possible on the wheel um, so this is more like wedging and centering you can see all the bumps and air bubbles coming to the top. Yeah, you see now it's really oh, obvious, yeah. right? So, um, so send my wedger back to school. Wait a minute. No, he has to go sit, or she has to go sit at the remedial. That's right. Remedial Could I have thrown through that stuff? Yes. Do I often? Yes. Um, should I wedge better? Yes. <laughs> All right, so um, donut. I want to kind of think about how wide I want my donut, similar to like I do for a plate. Um, um, we're gonna go wider than this, but right now I'm just gonna do something like this. And now we're gonna dive, and I want to go all the way to the wheel head. So, because there's no bottom. Because there's no bottom in the middle of the donut. So I'm always south of center never on dead center dead center is going to wobble right now i'm going to switch to my heavy metal and down to the wheel head all the way down and you can see the wood down there now i want to decide how big is the opening of my donut if i wanted a really small opening i'd make a really small opening we're going to make it we're going to make that the size of our opening Right. Um, so now we want to decide how much clay we're going to use. And I'm going to basically divide this in half. I'm going to dive down. And now this depth is the thickness I want for my wall. So if I was going to stop and measure, I would want to stop and measure here. Um, that's way too thick, right? Uh, I'm going to go down bit further stop and measure Ooh. Uh, not going any thinner than that um, all right so now we're going to make a cylinder this is gonna be a really big fat so um, donut make our inside cylinder our cylinder a little bit wider here. I'm going to pull this open a little bit more. And now, again, we're going to break that rule and we're going to scoop from the outside. We're going to scoop this up. And now we're going to make a cylinder with this chunk of clay. Always keep your rim under control. like that's all I can get out of this piece of clay all right then it's about we're gonna clean some of this stuff up now because I don't want goopy um, surfaces coming in contact with each other otherwise I won't have a nice connection so first I'm gonna scrape the water off the outside and then I'm gonna make sure there is no slip on the rim of my piece I don't want to do this with a sponge I want to get this kind of dry and I'm going to go ahead and dry this out too 
And now in the same way we were making a bowl, I am going to go ahead and push this out. Um, do I, should I use a metal rib? I can use any rib I want in actuality. Right, so now I'm going to take this guy out. All right, now this is going to be my contact point here. I want to make sure I don't have slip on that contact point. And I don't have slip on that contact point. And now we're going to bring these two so they touch each other. And now we're gonna use our metal rib to make this nice um, curve. That's so cool. I'm gonna come around and try this one more crap. Very exciting though. Okay. So I'm just gonna work this seam a little bit. So I also like my bottom to be, you know, curved a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a pinching action down here. And I'm squeezing on the inside and I'm pushing a little bit on the outside, just making it a little bit more donut shaped. So when I go to trim, it's not gonna be as much work. So is the idea being when you're done, it'll be equally round on both sides? Uh, not completely. I'm not gonna be able to get the bottom side completely. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be saved for trimming, but you know, like I want to make this, you know, the shape, get it, get it shaped kind of how I want it to a certain extent. And that is a donut. So, you know, like, the things you're going to play around with, you know, with the amount of clay you have is, you know, how tall your cylinders are on either side, how wide your opening is on the inside. Um, 